Hello everyone, welcome back to Geek's Guide to Age of... I cannot speak right. To Age of Wonders 3. And today we're going to continue doing the same old, same old... Just, you know, fortifying, building cities. Basically being the emperor of my... Evil... Wait a minute. I wonder... Oh, you, you had stealth. They're stealthy. They don't like tropical though. Too bad you don't have a suppress nature spell. Am I right, dude? <laughs> but you know, I do. I do have it. But you don't. Because you're not as cool as I am. You know what I'm saying? I think I need to get um for the Flow Rock Citadel will be extremely um helpful. Because um the walls restore 20 hit points at the beginning of each turn in manual combat, and I think that will be very helpful if it comes under siege. Which it probably will be one of the first sieges if Yizo declares war on us. Man, if only Yizo and Tano would turn on each other, then I would just swoop in, probably on Yizo's side, and um... Or, you know, I could decide, you know, to take the opportunity and while Yizzo's moving all his troops out and, you know, attacking Tana, I could swoop in behind his lines and start stealing his cities. You know? Add a mast. Sounds like add a mast. But I don't care. Hey, name your cities whatever you dang want. I don't care. I don't care. I was whistling. It wasn't very good, though. I'm not a good whistler. Oh, hello. Mountains. Oh, look at that. A vault of knowledge. Problem is that I've researched everything. Um, there are some mods that, um, I, um, would like to actually install when I do this next season. One of them is the Mega Forge, so I can make oh, my heroes completely overpowered. Not right now, I'm trespassing. And then, also the Hero Customization mod, I think. Because it allows you to customize your heroes and have more fun with your heroes than you normally do. And I think also... Yeah, and I think that's just it. Just little things like that. Because I want to make my heroes ridiculously overpowered. Which I've played um, a couple small maps with that, just to test it out. And I'm like, oh man, I can make my dude ridiculously OP. With the magic of um, OPness. Mm, base happiness modifiers. They're not that happy. They'll be happy once we have a city. They should be happy because we got a new city. Merkel. Hey, you want to know who's going to go hang out in Merkel? Oh, Bryn Stabless. That dude. Forge item. Here's what we're going to start making. We're going to start making a specific... Um, type of headgear. I'm think. Okay, what icon do I want it to have? Huh, I guess I don't have it. Oh, well, it's gonna be that one. So then I'm gonna give it Bringer of Goodwill, okay? And then I think plus one vision. Vision range, and I will call this 
the merry man's cap because it's sort of like a Robin Hood cap, get it? And it gives bringer of goodwill, so um, it will cut the upkeep in half. So you see what I'm doing? Yeah. So how many am I gonna need, I'm wondering? Let's rush it. I think I've seen most of what there is to be seen except for up there. Yeah. Oh yeah, that guy's just sitting there because he found his capital. Yeah. If I can hit his capital, if I can sneak a force behind enemy lines and take his capital, then I could ruin, I could take out, the war could not even last an entire episode then. Because he may do something stupid, like attack um, one of my cities and then lose. And then he won't have um, a city designated as another capital, so then, you know, his hero will just die. His leader will just die. For, for good. And that's what I want to happen, because if that does happen, then I'll win, and I will be able to, t you know, the chain of command will just be done, and I'll simply be able to waltz into his place and take over. Waltz into all his cities that were formerly his, and then just waltz in, take over. Not really waltz in. March my amazing army. Okay, who, who do I want to send this to first? I may want to send it... How many heroes do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, well then... Okay. And it's only a strong? Okay. Well, I'm doing it mainly for economic purposes, because after all, I am Nuke. The economist. Economist. Whatever the juice I want to be called. Whatever I want to be called. Hmm, okay. Funness there. Flying around all your place. Knowing about all your things. I know about it. You don't think I don't know about it? Well, I know about it. Busta Brown. Alright, what are some ideal cities for attacking? I think that... This one right here may be a good one because it's right next to my staging point. Okay. Send this one to the this guy. He's next on the list. Problem is he'll have to go through her domain, so I may just redirect him over there. And then eventually, once I take over um, all of uh, Yizo's things, man, there isn't much left to explore, is there? Well, I'm thinking about pushing both this direction and uh, down to getting his capital right off the bat, just sneaking a force behind his lines. It may be just a squad of firstborn. Because these firstborn are pretty effective, because one, they have wall climbing. And two, they are beefy units. Especially when I have them as leveled up as I do. These aren't just my dwarf firstborn, these are my dwarf firstborn veterans. Oh, hello, hidden unit. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, why are you hidden? Why do you have improved training of the Queen of Spiders? Oh, that's fun. Disgusting. Invisibility. Oh, Age of Deception. Oh, that may... But I can still see this city, and I know what he has there. And honestly, I'm not too afraid, because Dwarf Firstborn do fire damage. You know? Yeah, you know. Firebomb. I'm just gonna give you Vision Range Upgrade, because I feel you need it. And Lightning Rod Banner, because that's a good thing to have. I go the Explosive. An item has arrived. You have that. Well, that's useless. Get rid of it. And here you go. You get this now. 
and that really helps our economy. Shrunken head, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Where did I have you sent going? Okay, you can head up there. Wherever I sent you to go, I don't remember. Oh, you're gonna... Where did I send you? Okay, we'll go around that way. Because I don't want you to... Bust any... To, you know, make a... Hurt our relationship. Because, you know, if they go to war, I may turn on Yizo and Tana will be my new best friend. Best friend. He, they're less happy... They're less happy with me because I expanded near their domain. Yeah, they're less happy with me. Merc soul. Oh, good. Bam. Get, get where... Yeah, look at how our... Yeah, look at how it's helping. Alright, and then from there, just head on down. Head on down. I want you to move out of the way. And I actually want to get a spell jammer there already. Because if, you know, under siege, may have a bad time. Oh, a harbor. Yes, please. Hmm. Fun. I'd rather have my um, seed workshops, observatories, focus chamber, produced archer units. Well, too bad I'm not going to be producing any. Wait a minute. Oh, strike fear. Oh, yes, please. I will take you. I will take you soon. Because once I have you produce your um. Oh, but technically, yeah, the golems are machines. I was thinking I would, yeah, have them be that. But alas, it will not be so. Sadness. Sadness. Much sad. How much does one sad? I sad a lot. It's sad. Alright, okay, we can't see what that shenanigans is, because we can't. Oh, hello, Phoenix. Hello, more Phoenix. This is... Oh, that's a tier 4? And you have Firstborn, too, huh? Well, I think... Of course, dwarf, dwarf Firstborn have uh, fire immunity. I may bring you down here just sort of sit here. Oh, they moved him. They moved him. How many do I have here now? I want this Stabalis. Stay bliss. Stay bliss, dude. Stay bliss. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. You tell me. Okay, so then, then you go to Mikau, Iron Fist. We're still able to produce it in one turn, that's fun. Oh yeah, you gotta go around. Oh well, just pave, 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 pave. I'm pronouncing it correctly, I'm pretty sure. What does that give you? Oh, plus two vision range, that's lovely. Then we can get you a... Mm, yeah, it's not really worth it to get that now, is it? I'd rather get you a barracks and stuff to allow you to produce your own units if the need shall arise. Oh, and of course you can't go through this way because herp-de-derp-de-derp -de -derp -de -derp diplomatic stuff. 
Man, appeasement. It's hard. That's how politics works, you know? You know, you secretly... Oh, plus 40 production? Dude, I gotta produce all the things. Okay, so how many more of these am I gonna need? One more. Okay. Well, then I can turn you off that. No. Get on infinity. You require orders. Yes, you do. Hooray for the Imperial Highway Act of... I don't know what turn it is. We'll, we'll say turn 110. That's what we'll say. Oh, oh, we're gonna get some action. Pretty, this turn, this episode. Yeah, let's do this. You know, this it will be called the, um, the Highway Act of turn, what, what, 132, I think? Yeah. Of turn 132. <laughs> oh, 120 health. Yeah, that's pretty gnarly. You know... I really hope... We gotta take that thing out, because if we don't, they'll try and take control of my units. And I don't particularly enjoy it when they take control of my units. So, to be smart, I'm gonna have them do something like this, because what that... You know, if they go right there... Which is why, to be safe, I'm gonna have them all... Right, because they can reach right there. So, I'll have a good buffer zone, so the worst that th that can probably do to me is, uh, throw a curse at one of my, um, musketeers. Yeah, this is a good formation right here. Why do they fly over there to throw a curse? I don't know. Oh no, they assassin striked me. Oh no! Oh, fire aura. Oh yeah, that's um a thing when the dwarf firstborn get this this leveled up. Okay, they're all the way over there, so I don't think I have to worry too much about them for the moment. All right, dwarves, take them out. That's right, because they're good with their little backstabby ness. But they're no match against trained dwarf warriors. Highly trained dwarf warriors. Emphasis on highly trained. Remember how highly trained these dwarf warriors are? Very well trained. We trained them in one turn. Yeah, very well trained. Much well training. Of course, I think really how it works in this is we don't really train you, we just sort of buy you. You just have to get experience on the field. Oh, now they're gonna go come over here and do things. Oh, they melee strike me. I wasn't expecting that, actually. Oh, well. Reload. And then, uh... Go punch that thing in the face. Oh, they got immolated. Oh, that's good. Okay, if I move you, I can afford to move you. And then I can bring you to attack. Okay, you didn't kill him yet. That's okay. You're, you're doing your best, dwarves. I could finish him off. Oh, I could finish him off. Yeah, just whack them with your iron pipes of justice. Troll, troll. I don't want no trolls in my army. Get out of my life, troll. So, so trollish. I don't like trolls. No one likes a troll. An item has arrived. Oh, yay. Put it on your head. Oh, look at the economy. And now... 
Champion gives it... Oh, dude, if I can get it up to Elite? Man. That'd be good. The thing about, um, Warlords is they actually have a, uh spell that makes it that when all their units are produced they start out at the rank of elite so it's pretty that's a pretty useful spell which is why late in the game you're gonna have a problem with warlords because you know even if they're just sending like uh human knights at them their human knights will be better than your human knights because they will start off being elite and it is not good Let's get you a Riders. Well, that really does nothing considering I should get you an Arena. Yeah, and then that. And that. And that too. There you go. You good. Nope, you are going to produce me. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I may just want to shield. Okay, what can I give you? Seeker, yes, give. I'm gonna call this aimbot shield. Yeah, I before E except after C. I know how to smell good. And we'll produce six of those. Yeah. One round, why don't you call it turns? Ah, uh, roads. See how far we can travel that, how that guy travel. If you just, you know, have roads. It's good. It's very good. But anyway, I think it is time for this episode to end. So thank you everyone for watching this episode of Geek's Guide Age of Wonders 3. And good night, everybody.